Hi everyone, uh, Mrs. Shapiro here, and today we are going to talk about how to draw a, an apple, and the purpose of drawing the apple is to create a focal point in your artwork. Now, it is not mandatory to draw an apple, you can draw something else if you like, a shape or something um, else, it does have to be small, It and, and it should be the focal point of your Zentangle artwork. It should be something that draws your attention when you look at it through uh, shape and color. It is different. Um, it is showing contrast in your work. So each Zentangle square will have a focal point in it. Um, I'm asking for an apple, but you can do whatever you want. You do it at the end of your Zentangle before you put the ink down. So after you've done your Zentangle in pencil, you then add the apple in and I will show you. So hold on a minute and I will draw it on this piece of paper. When you practice your apple, you can practice in your sketchbook or you can practice on a piece of paper. But let's first start with practicing the apple and here we go. Um, an apple starts with a circle. So I'm actually just gonna sharpen my pencil and here we go. So an apple starts with a circle. And because we're drawing small, we're going to try and keep it small. So we're not going to draw too big. The size of my thumb is a big thumb, but it could be the size of your thumb would be a good size for the shape. And you can see I draw a circle and then I kind of indent it in in the top. Okay, and then I kind of make the bottom a little bit more. And I try not to make it as round almost more like a heart, and then I can go over it and erase the parts that I don't want with my pencil. Then I'm going to, so remember, you're gonna go over this with the, I'm gonna add my stem. Okay, and I can add a little leaf if I want and there's my apple, okay? So you start with a circle that's as, about as big as your thumb, and then you kind of turn that shape, that circle shape. It almost is more like a heart circle. And then you erase the lines you don't want. And like I said, don't worry about it, you'll go over it afterwards because you will then be taking one of your markers. You can make a green apple or you can make a red apple. And you actually want to erase a little bit because you don't want it to be too much. And you go over it. Oh, I didn't draw the stem here. I'll add that now. You don't have to add the leaf. And then I'm going to go in. And now is a good time. Now I can actually erase all of it if I want. So I don't have any pencil showing. And then I'm going to go in carefully and add color to it. And I'll use a different green, a darker green for the leaf. Okay. And there is my miniature apple for my focal point. This step comes after you do your uh, pencil centangle. Once you've done the pencil, then you add the apple and pencil and then you fill it all in with your fine liner. And some of the areas might need a Sharpie, but I'm not exactly sure if everyone is. I don't know where my black one is, but I have a blue Sharpie, but I won't use blue, I'll use black. And my fine liner, those are the most important things. You can see that the fill-in is used with the Sharpie, right? Oh, here's my, nope, that's a green one. Anyway, I can't seem to find my black Sharpie, but the Sharpies are for fill-ins, okay? To fill in these little 
black areas. I used a little bit of Sharpie. Um, here I think I used fine liner. I didn't want it to be too out of control. Over here, these lines I actually went over. Some of the lines I did, as you can see, are thinner. So I used the fine line. It's called Pilot Fine Liner. I used those to do the thin lines. And then I used my Sharpie. Not my blue one, my black one, but I'm just showing you the Sharpie. Uh, to do the thicker the thicker lines. So marker goes last. Okay, so anything with permanent ink goes last. You're going to work on these in pencil first, then add your apple. And then away we go. I'm actually going to do a quick little demonstration here. I'm going to fold my paper in half. And I'm going to pretend that these are my Zentangle squares. I'm actually just going to do one. I'm going to do a little teeny tiny one just to show you what I mean here. And I'm freehanding this. Step one is you are going to do your pattern. You can use a ruler. I'm just going to do a simple pattern here. You're going to work in pencil. I prefer ruler, but I'm just doing a quick demonstration. Okay, and then I'm going to do it like, let's see, maybe I'm going to do this. I want to actually move this. Just remember to practice your apple before you do it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do this way. And I want to go like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, oops, one. Okay, so now before I continue, let's say this is my pattern. Before I continue with anything else, I've done my pencil. Now I'm going to draw my apple on top, and I'm going to decide. Do I want it to be the focus in the center? Do I want it to be to the side? Where do I want it to go? Maybe for this one, I will put it in the center. So I'm going to just draw my apple. Okay, I'm going to... Because I practiced it a few times, I'm going to go right to the apple part. Okay, so there's my apple. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go right in and go do my outline in fine liner of my apple. I did that right away. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase what's in the center here. And I could just do a little bit. No, I don't have to do the whole thing. But just to remind myself that I'm not going to go over it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in. And the good thing about this, actually this one is not so great. I'm going to try a different one. The good thing about this is you can actually erase. When the ink is dry, you give it a few minutes. And the ink will dry. Because if you do it right away, you will kind of, um, it'll smudge. The ink might smudge. So see how I'm going through? I'm not going through the apple. I'm going around and behind the apple. Okay, now, see it's still going behind the apple. Oops. Now I'm just doing a quick demo here. This is not my best pattern, for sure. Okay, so now, I can erase with my eraser. Well, I see it's it just smudged right there. I should wait a few minutes before to let the ink set and then afterwards lightly go over it and erase any of the pencil marks. Okay? But remember, wait a few minutes just till the ink sets. 
There we go. Next, I'm going to fill it in. Let's pick a different color. Do I have a red? I do. Let's do a red apple this time. Okay. Here we are. I just created a focal point in my Zentangle artwork. Okay. So those are the steps. Step one is, let's write this down. Step one, one, Zentangle in pencil. Step two, draw apple or whatever your focal point is apple focal point step three outline your focal point in fine liner the thinner pen okay step four Erase inside of apple or focal point. Step five, outline all pencil work in Zentangle. Step six, let ink dry or set for a few minutes. Step seven, erase all pencil marks And step eight, color in your focal point. Ta-da! Here are all your steps. Okay? One, Zentangle in pencil. Two, draw apple focal point in pencil. Three, outline your focal point in fine liner. Four, erase the inside of your apple or focal point. Five, outline all the pencil work in your Zentangle. So that way you're left with just the ink. Six, actually, yeah, six, let ink dry and set for a few minutes. You have to let the ink dry before you erase, number seven, all the pencil marks that are underneath, and eight, color in your focal point. Okay, those are your step-by-steps. And good luck. Can't wait to see them. See you soon.